Recently, BYD has been in the spotlight for all the right reasons. Now, the past two months have been phenomenal, and the company just made an important announcement regarding global developments. In fact, BYD is rapidly expanding, penetrating new markets every month while simultaneously increasing the number of vehicles it manufactures and brings to the market. And in this video, I'm going to share with you some recent developments with BYD and its cars, especially in the European market. So don't forget to stick with me till the end to find out everything. If you're ready for this, make sure to click the like button below and subscribe to Tech Revolution. And now, let's begin! During the second week of October, the all-electric Addo 3 crossover SUV from BYD was awarded a perfect 5 stars in Euro NCAP safety assessment system. Now, BYD is the most recent Chinese automaker to win praise for its efforts to break into Europe's saturated auto market. Stellantis and Dongfeng's e-Citroen C5X and Renault and Zhangling Motors Mobilize Limo, both electric sedans, and they both achieve four-star ratings. In addition, that makes them one of the highest-rated Chinese-made vehicles beside the Addo 3. However, the European New Car Assessment Program, or NCAP, does not issue mandatory certification for road usage. Hence, its ratings are not legally obligatory. But the thing is, Euro NCAP safety ratings are highly regarded by European customers and manufacturers promote high scores enthusiastically. However, despite the NCAP 5-star rating, BYD Addo 3 safety rating is still awaiting compliance assessments in Australia. Lawyers have confirmed that the BYD Addo 3's Australian distributor has approved the vehicle for use as a passenger car because it's a five-seater. However, the problem lies with the seats. The BYD Addo 3 does not have a centrally located anchor point for a top tether child restraint. Now, this has been necessary for passenger vehicles with five seats or more in Australia for quite some time. And each rearmost seat in a BYD Atto 3 is equipped with two ISOFIX child seat latches. The middle seat lacks a top tether and the car itself lacks one. And because of its location away from the doors, this is the safest car seat for children in the event of a side accident. However, the Australian design rules would not allow for this. All upper anchor fittings must have the required space around them per the regulations. With this, the attaching clip may be attached and detached from the upper anchor fitting during vehicle installation without additional hardware. In Australia, approving vehicles is the job of the Department of Infrastructure, Transport, Regional Development, Communication and the Arts. In a statement, they confirmed that Australia is presently conducting inspections of passenger cars. They are also particularly stringent in enforcing laws governing the installation of kids' safety seats. The BYD Addo 3 was just approved for sale in Australia after undergoing a lengthy process of vehicle type clearance. BYD Auto Co. Limited was given permission after the department reviewed the application and supporting documents, which included declarations. Now, if the Addo 3 is found to violate any applicable standards, the department will work with BYD Auto Co. to remedy the situation. They will also help decide how to best educate and safeguard the public. Moreover, the Australasian New Car Assessment Program or ANCAP provides impartial safety ratings for newly released automobiles. And according to them, BYD Addo 3 vehicles imported from Australia are now unrated. Furthermore, the ANCAP is collaborating with BYD to determine whether or not a rating may be applied to Australian specific vehicles. The vehicle has also been launched in India, Laos, and Nepal. Several outlets have stated that BYD is gearing to begin monthly production of at least 300,000 electric vehicles and they want to achieve this from its several factories across China and other countries. It's clear that BYD is exhilarating its plans to expand into new markets worldwide due to the recent increase in manufacturing. Now, after much anticipation, Addo 3 finally made its debut in the Lao People's Democratic Republic, India, and Nepal during the second week of October. 
In India, the Auto 3 will be among the first electric vehicles offered retail or directly to individual buyers. Right now, the BYD E6 is being offered for sale for fleet operators in the Indian market. And just last year, the first BYD Han EV was delivered to the Prime Minister's Office of the Lao People's Democratic Republic in Vientiane, the country's capital. And MOK, which is BYD's local dealer, was the one who delivered it. Additionally, just this week, BYD launched two more EVs in Paris, including the Addo 3. BYD has introduced its cutting-edge electric vehicle lineup to the European market during a show in Paris. These models include the BYD Addo 3, the BYD Tang, and the BYD Han, which is a sporty sedan. Now, BYD's output in September increased by 15% compared to August. According to recently released corporate data, BYD has significantly increased manufacturing by 15% in only one month. In September, manufacturers cranked out 201,259 new energy vehicles, including battery-only electric cars and plug-in hybrids. BYD is now providing monthly updates on export production data. And as of the end of September, 7,736 NEVs have been shipped overseas, many of them to countries with similar economies to Australia. BYD also now supplies the export markets of Norway and New Zealand and that's going to rapidly broaden into new European and Asian markets over the next several months. Now as BYD is ready to offer NEVs in these markets, exports increased by 52% month over month in September, while EV deliveries to Australia continued unabated. This increase in export output speaks well for the thousands of Australian order holders for the foreseeable future. Moreover, BYD Addo 3 EV's pricing in New Zealand has increased in the past few days. The base model now costs 55,490 New Zealand dollars, which is a rise of $2,000. There was a 2,000 New Zealand dollar rise in the pricing of the long-range versions of the same vehicle. However, that doesn't include the clean car discount in New Zealand or the expense of putting the vehicle on the road. This is to be expected for more reasonably priced EVs like the one supplied by BYD as the cost of raw materials and transportation rises. Others, such as Polestar, have also signaled price rises in the Chinese market. However, theirs are considerably more extreme than those of BYD. It's not clear if Australia will see similar price hikes. The new BYD Addo 3 in Australia is a bit of a deal for anyone searching for a low-cost brand new electric vehicle, especially in light of what we have seen over the water in New Zealand. Right now, BYD has built its reputation in the international markets on the backs of commercial vehicles like buses. But in only a few short years, the firm has grown into a giant into the electric car industry in China, the largest automaker in the world. BYD even reported that through August, it has sold more than 487,000 all-electric automobiles. That's more than three times as many as were sold during the corresponding period last year. So what do you think of BYD's 5-star rated Atto 3? Do you think it will be a great hit in the European market? Also, what do you think of its situation in Australia? Make sure to let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching till the end. Before you go, make sure to like and subscribe and click the notification bell to trigger YouTube's algorithm and see more of our videos on your homepage. Thanks for watching and see you next time.